Welcome to this video on arc length and sector area. In this lesson, I'll be going over arc length and sector area notes, as well as arc length and sector area application problem notes. OK, so let's get started. Let's go over a few formulas first. The first one is circumference, which is the distance around the circle. So how far it would be from here all the way to here. And the formula, there's actually two formulas, 2 pi r or pi times diameter. And the reason those are the same is because a 2 times the radius is the same as a diameter. Here's a radius. If we have two of them, that's a diameter. All right, so let's go ahead and find the circumference of this circle. So I have the radius. I'm going to use the top formula, so 2 times pi times 3 which gives us about 6 pi inches. So you can leave it in that form. That's called the exact form. It has pi in the answer. Or you can change it to the rounded form. And that's when you would use your calculator and multiply 6 times pi using the pi button or 3.14, depending on what your teacher wants, which would give you about 18.8 .8 inches. So these are both the same answer. This one is exact. This one is rounded. All right, so let's talk about arc length. So this is new. You should have learned circumference in middle school, but arc length is probably new to you. So remember, an arc is a piece of the outside of the circle, a piece of the circumference. And the formula for arc length is 2 pi r times theta over 360. So I know that... I can find the measure of this arc in degrees. It's 100 degrees because this is a central angle. However, you can also measure arcs in length, so like meters. So arcs can be measured in degrees and in distance. So let's find the actual length of this arc from here to here in meters. All right, so 2 pi r, and you probably noticed that's the circumference formula. So 2 pi, my radius is 7. Theta is the central angle. So that would be 100, sorry, over 360. All right, and you can use your calculator to type that in. Or you can multiply it individually and reduce the fraction. So 2 times 7 is 14, times 100 is 1400 and then pi over 360 and then you can reduce that fraction to 35 pi over 9 meters so that's the exact answer and then you can type it in your calculator and get the rounded answer which is about 12.2 meters All right, area of a circle. So you have probably learned this before. Area is the space inside the circle. And the formula for that is pi r squared. So pi 9 squared, which is about 81 pi centimeters squared. Actually, it's exactly 81 pi centimeters squared. Remember, that's our exact answer. And then if you want the rounded answer, it's approximately... 254.5 centimeters squared. And I just got that by multiplying 81 times pi in my calculator. And remember, area is always units squared because it's a two-dimensional space, so the units are squared. All right. Sector area is new. So remember, a sector is a piece of the area. So we don't want to find the whole area, we just want one piece of it. So the formula is pi r squared, which notice that's the area formula. Theta is your central angle over 360. So pi 5 squared times 70 over 360, which gives you 175 pi over 36 feet squared. That's the exact, or 15.3 feet squared. All right, 
Let's talk about what these formulas actually mean. So think about it. What similarities do you see in the formulas and why do these similarities exist? All right, so pause the video now and write down any thoughts you have about that. All right, so we kind of already talked about this, but let's go back to our arc length formula. So within the arc length formula, you see the circumference formula, 2 times pi times r. And then you have this other piece, pi times 360. In fact, sometimes, depending on your formula sheet or your textbook, you may see the formula written like this, 2 pi r times theta over 360. Same thing, it's just separated out. So let's talk about why that works. So remember arc length is just a piece of the whole circumference. So here's the whole circumference. And then this part, the theta over 360 part, tells us the piece that we want, how much of that circumference that we want. Okay, so let's go ahead and start writing down here. So, so we said the circumference formula is within the arc length formula. And that's because arc length is just a piece of the circumference. So let's say that I wanted, let's draw a picture here. Let's say that I have a central angle of 90 and my radius is four. So I'm gonna write the formula like this. Okay, so I want the length of this arc here. So I want to find the whole circumference first, 2 times pi times r, so 2 times pi times 4, which would be 8 pi. So that's the whole circumference, but I don't want the whole thing. I just want a piece of it. So the piece that I want is theta over 360. My theta is 90 over 360. Now, if you look at the picture that I have, you can tell that it's a fourth of the circle. So we just want one fourth of the whole circumference. And if you reduce 90 over 360, you get one fourth. So really the theta over 360 just tells you how much of the circumference you want. So if my theta was 90, I want one fourth of the circumference. All right, go ahead and pause the video now and complete arc length and sector area practice and check it with your teacher and then we will move on to application problems. Okay, so you should have completed this. Let's move on to application problems. So a few keywords that you're going to see in application problems. For arc length, you'll see length, distance, how far, how many units, or how long. For sector area, you'll see area, space inside, how big, how many square units. All right, so example number one, a 10 inch pizza has eight slices. What is the area of one slice and what is the length of one piece of crust? Okay, so. We kind of have two things going on here because we have two questions. So let's find the area of one slice first. So that's going to be sector area. So remember my formula. For sector area, pi r squared theta over 360. So if it's a 10 inch pizza, that's talking about the diameter of the pizza. So we want to find the radius, so the radius would be half of that, five. All right, so my radius is five. Now for theta, the central angle, it doesn't tell us what that is in the problem. However, if we know that there are eight equal pieces, and we know a whole circle is 360, we can take 360 divided by eight, and that gives us 45 degrees for each individual central angle. 
over 360. All right, and you can type that in your calculator. Usually on application problems, you're going to want the rounded answer just because it makes more sense when you're reading it. So that's about 9.8 inches squared because it's area. All right, and then let's find the length of crust. So 2 pi r theta over 360. All right, so we know our r and our theta from the last example. So I'm just going to substitute those into my arc length formula. And it's arc length because I asked for the length. And that gives you about 3.9 inches. All right, let's try the next one. Number two, a sprinkler sprays water at a distance of 12 feet. If the sprinkler sprays at an angle of 105 degrees, how much grass is sprayed in square feet? So we're talking about square feet, that is area. So we're using the area of a sector formula. Okay, so we have our angle 105. And then if it's spraying at a distance of 12 feet, okay, let's kind of draw this here. So here's my sprinkler spraying water. All right, so each time it sprays, that's 12 feet. That's going to be my radius. So pi 12 squared. Our angle is 105 over 360. Type that in your calculator. And you get 139.9 feet squared. All right. Last example. The earth has a diameter of 7,917.5 miles. If you traveled halfway around the world in a straight line, how many miles would you have traveled? Okay, so we're talking about distance. How many miles would you have traveled? That would be arc length. Okay, so here's the diameter. We need to divide that in half to find the radius. So I'm just going to divide it in my calculator. And that gives me 3,958.75 miles. And then our theta, if we travel halfway around the world, well, half of a circle is 180 degrees. So 2 pi, 3958.75, 180 over 360. And that gives me about 12,436.8 miles. Now there are other ways to do some of these problems. For example, on the last one, I could have just found the circumference of the whole earth and divided it by two. So there are multiple ways. If you want to do it another way, that's fine. Just check your answer and make sure you get the same thing. All right, you can go ahead and stop this video now and complete application problems practice and check it with your teacher.